Hello, this is Melissa from Buckeye Girls Reason Things. This is Love is in the Air collaboration. Our host is Rustic and Lace DIY is host and the co-host is Six Kids in a Glue Gun and Crafty Hints. It's time to get started on Valentine's Day. This is a Dollar Tree heart-shaped ring. And they're fun to make Valentine's Day wreath. This is the Dollar Tree mesh in pink. I cut the, it, this in five, in five inches. And I'm go, I cut four of them. And the way I put these on, you could do all pink, all red, red and white, pink and white, black, white, and pink, whatever you choose. But this is how I put it on the frame. I take this, this is a pipe cleaner, and I cut them in half. And I start adding them onto the frame. I just twist it on. Then I take our mesh and I roll it up. And you're going to have a bundle of four of these. And then I add it in, that into the pipe cleaner. I will lay one diagonal like this. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Okay, one diagonal like this, and the next one I'll, I'll lay this way. So the next one, when I put the next one in, it will go this direction, the four. Let's make a Valentine's Day bow for a wreath. Start out with this pink ribbon. We don't want it too big and overpowering because this wreath isn't very big. So we don't want to go too big with it. And we'll add this one. This is just a white heart. to do with the ribbon when you have it like this is just do a simple twist and make it like that and then I don't know I may go to this one just because more of that. I 
I may just go. I don't know whether I'm going to use that or not. I may. I may. <clears throat> now this one I have to be careful. Because we want the words where you can read it. So you have to do an extra twist. Just to use this as a center loop. That will be our center loop. Here's our bow for our wreath. You just grab it and twist the ribbon. Then you take your fingers in there and fluff it up like this. And put those tails back where they belong. And I go around and I Dovetail the ribbon. Make sure you don't forget one. Every now and then I accidentally forget one. And when I take the picture or something, I go, hmm, forgot that one, and have to dovetail it in. Okay, okay, let's get our bow attached. I want my bow right here. I, ac ap I actually left a little gap in the mesh so I could attach it a little easier. just wrapped it around make sure that it doesn't the pipe cleaner doesn't stick out so it would scratch somebody's door and then just pull your ribbon tails down now I have a bunch of these hearts let's put some hearts on this ring And you just add them like you would add flowers to a, to a wreath. And the reason I haven't added my tails yet is because... I wait and see where I need them before I add them. Since I have this big bow and all the tails from the bow, I'll, I'll see where I need ribbon tails and then I'll put them there, which will probably be on the other side of the wreath.
going to do three at the bottom and three at the top, I think. Then I'll have three extras. So I'm going to take these. Uh, and I'm going to add them on the other side. Here and there. Okay, I'm going to look and see, okay, the heart goes this way, I don't want the heart sideways. And then I'm going to just add it into the twist tie. Okay, I'll go over here and add this one into the twist tie, like right here. I'm going to add this one in before I glue it, so I don't have to worry about it burning my fingers. Okay, I'm going to go away and I'm going to cut my ribbon eight inches long and I'll be back. I'm back. And I guessed that we need seven tails. Eight inches long. Hopefully I cut enough. We're just saying hopefully I cut enough. And I have seven of these red. Four of these. Oops, and the first one right off the bat, I are undovetailed. I take these and I pleat them in the center and I put them in the wreath. And then I just spiral the ends of my pipe cleaner. Then I spread out my tails. And my next one is this red and these red hearts. That'll go in my next twist tie. I'm going to quickly trim these. I thought I had them trimmed, I guess. I missed this bunch. Okay. 
Okay, we're going to go to the, the black and the red one. The fun part is this red, this white, I just had a very little bit after I made my bow. So I'm just doing enough tails of this to put it throughout the wreath and to get rid of the last of my this ribbon so it's not just a little tiny piece of scrap ribbon. I can need one piece of eight inch black. Because I miscounted by one. the last two tails up under right here which you won't see it very much but it'll cover up a little bit uh, so it'll look like just extra tails in the bow and there is our wreath our deco mesh Dollar Tree wreath. Hello, this is Melissa from Buckeye Girls Reason Things. This is Love is in the Air collaboration. Our host is Rustic and Lace DIY is host and the co-host is six kids in a glue gun and crafty hints.